A wealth of information makes people very, very happy and rich. But why there is a huge amount of crowd in the buses when the Congress government declared free bus travel for the women folk of Karnataka? What I found is is not about the wealth of information. If the women of Karnataka as rushing up to the buses to travel non-stop, thinking it is free, but they have been hoodwinked to loot their money because every station when they go, they have to buy a drink to eat something. A huge amount of business flows in the bus stations. <laughs> that they have not been knowing. Then where what happened to the wealth of information? If the wealth of information was there for so many decades, and we find more wars, more poverty, and a small minority still continues to loot and be the richest. That is where you have to look into yourself and ask, like what Ramana Moshi said, ask who am I? And Jesus Christ said, knock and the door shall be open. You knock your door, not somebody else's door. Swami Vena said, awake, arise, means from your deeper inside, your wealth of information, wealth of power, what your nature has given, awake, arise. And Bob Marley kept screaming, get up, stand up, stand up for your rights. That means wake up every part of your body, stand up for your rights means what was your wealth. Go back, look into your land. That is the wealth of information. Herbert Alexander Simon, born at 15th June 1916 in Wisconsin in the United States of America, died on 9th February 2001 in Pennsylvania, was an American political scientist with a PhD in political science whose work also influenced the fields of computer science, economics and cognitive psychology. Herbert Alexander Simon said a wealth of information creates a poverty of attention. Wealth of information creates what it creates? Just constipation, just blindness. Suddenly, your brain stops functioning because there was a massive traffic jam. Other wealth of information from your house, from your family, from your joint family, from a family tree, where it's come, it is uh, slowly slowly yeah from your baby then the wealth of information knows to which file it goes because the moment the child sees the mother it knows the mother sister knows the sister brother uncle they know how, where to differ look at the mango tree they know what kind of mango yes they can understand the nature of that wealth of, but the other wealth of information is not practical hence there was a huge amount of mental problems which leads to mental retardation and then rushing up to the hospital for mental diseases this rushing up to psychologists and psychiatrists a wealth of information creates their poverty of attention that poverty of attention was where the yoga gurus came and said yes come back let us go and meditate let us Meditate means let us clean your vessels. Let us clean your vessels. Let us clean your vessels. Because every day you have to clean your vessel. Every day you have to clean your cells where you have taken your information. Yes, it doesn't go anywhere. Even after 100 years, what information you have collected or unconsciously it has entered into your cells, it retains there for till your death. Yes, and when time comes, it just speaks out. But what is happening is if you don't clean up, the traffic jam creates a disease, a sadness. And in the sadness, you get more confused. And when somebody gives you a freebie, you go after the freebie. Like the Japanese kids were taught, if anybody 
offers you a coffee? They will say no, because in their list for that year, coffee from taking from another person was not allowed because they have already decided they have four friends. They have go with them. If they take coffee, breakfast, lunch or dinner, they have to return that back. Return that back. That has not been taught. Once we learn, once we have taught our people that freebies are a kind of a rape in the society. Otherwise, if they give it with the love, yes, it is like prasada, not a problem. But in the name of freebies, if they give, if you take it, you take it, not a problem. If you take it and if you don't return it back, then it becomes constipation. Yes, you cannot eat breakfast, lunch, dinner together because it's a freebie together. And what happened constipation? People sometimes rushes up to the wedding place. And the wedding place, they give around 10, 20, 30 varieties of food. That is the constipation. People are rushing up to eat that varieties and there starts constipation. They go to the hotels to see buffet, 10, 20 varieties. How will the body digest? Body has got the capacity to digest carbohydrates one time. If you mix carbohydrates and protein together, there is indigestion problem comes. Hence, our dosa and idli from South India is bad. Because dosa and idli, dosa has got dal, which is protein, and rice, which is carbohydrates. Both doesn't go together. It might be tasty, but you can see in South India, quite a lot of people have got diseases. And the Western people, when they came, they were very happy. The first major hospitals were set up in South India, not in North India. All the best hospitals, even now you have the best hospitals are in South India. All the best education centers are in South India. People speak very good English in South India, but in South India, you don't find much respect. Yes, because respect has been clogged. They like to travel to America. Like migrant workers, they just rush us up. They don't know why they're rushing up because the family, joint family has been got, got disconnected. At least to a certain ex uh, extent, the North Indians are holding on to that. A wealth of information creates the poverty of attention. When you eat so many food together, it is constipation. When you're driving your car, suddenly you see petrol bunk and then the car likes to have a diesel also. And you put petrol, hey, give one plate of petrol and one plate of diesel. And you go a little further, you say, oh, gas, put a little more gas inside. And then you find kerosene, put a little more kerosene. And you find mineral water, aha, why not mineral water? And you are drinking Coca-Cola and you wanted to uh, share a bit because the car is taking you and uh, you put a little more Coca-Cola into your car. How do you feel? The car will run or not? Like that is the body, you try to understand. Wealth of information creates a poverty of attention. The wealth of information, so many books for the children. No diversions at all and create that wealth of information very good if they are from the house. Yes. Where they lovingly learned bit by bit, age by age, age one, two, three. And that is a massive wealth of information which is richness, which is healthy, which doesn't allow anybody to give you freebie to buy you. Herbert Alexander Simon's a wealth of information creates a poverty of attention. Be careful.